Hello and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you my working environment, my office. So having a good office and somewhere you enjoy going to work is really important. If you enjoy the environment you're working in, you'll enjoy your work even more. So a while ago, back in COVID, I used to have one of those offices and one of those shared office spaces. And it was great. It was good for me to be able to walk to work each day and walk home each day. But really, it became a bit of a waste of money when I was the only one there and I could work from home. So I managed to convince my wife to let me build an office in the garden. So this is a three meter by two meter space. It's PVC, fully insulated, so even in the depths of our Edinburgh, Scot Scottish Edinburgh winter here, it doesn't get that cold in here. And it only takes a small heater to keep the heat in here at a sensible level. So what I've done with the space is I've actually separated it into two key areas. On one of my side, I've got my iPad working station. This is a station which I can work on and just have a real focus on what I'm looking at. The benefit of that space is it keeps me really focused on what I'm doing at the time. I've got a big desk with a wide screen and a big monitor, which I'll go into in a moment, but there's so much going on there. And I've got so many things happening at once. Sometimes, especially when I'm being creative for client engagement, I'm looking at researching and planning a new feature. I just want to be in the zone. I don't want any distractions. And that's where the iPad station comes in really nicely. I can stand there, I can focus on what I'm focusing on, I can scribble out my notes, I can get my ideas onto iPad and pen, Apple Pencil, onto the screen nice and easily. Okay, so on my iPad station then, what have we got? Well, I've got a 27 inch monitor here, with, which has got my uh, practice management turning up the heat advertisement at the moment. This is a great display, A, for having two displays with my iPad and using the iPad mirroring or the iPad screen share on it but also it creates a nice background when I'm doing webinars and stuff from the main desk. So I can almost have a billboard, which is quite nice. And then next to that, I've got my iPad. It's an iPad uh, 2022 12 inch Pro Edition. Um, it's a fantastic bit of kit, really powerful. And it sits on the Kingsington iPad dock. This is not a cheap dock, but worth every penny. So this dock's great because I can just slap my phone on there. I can slap my headphones on there and that's them charging. So whilst I'm focused on this area and I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm able to be charging my phone and iPhones, uh, headphones at the same time. I don't have a chair in my office. I've not got a chair in any, uh, either of my desks. Standing up is just so much better for me. Underneath this desk, I've got a robotic hoover. So that's how I keep on top of the hoovering in this space. I don't do it myself. I've got a robot that comes out once a night and keeps on top of all the dirt on the carpet. Because I'm working from inside out and because I've got a dog, um, I walk in dirt, stones, bits of mud, etc. at times on a wet day. So the carpet can get quite dirty quite quickly, but that hoover keeps on top of it really well. So this is the EcoVax Home D-Bot Hoover. It's not the latest and greatest, it has got the ability to mop if we were on a hard floor as well, but I've not used that functionality. I don't know how well it would do, if I'm honest, on your on your uh, carpets in the house if you've got dogs and cats. I'm not convinced it would do a great job because it doesn't seem to have all of that much suction and ability to spin up the dirt. However, it's got more than enough for this home office, so that's ideal. So that's why I got that one because it wasn't the most expensive by any means but it was gonna do the job I needed it to do. So yeah, so that Hoover goes around every night to do my office, which is great. Okay, so this is my main desk. This is where I spend the majority of my time. This is my hub, my mission station, my battle station. Lots of people have called it many things, um, but basically this is where I get my work done when I'm not trying to be creative and isolated, which I do on the iPad station. This is where I am. So this is all powered by my M3 14 inch MacBook Pro, so absolute beast. It copes with all of this really, really well. From that, I have my new Fee 75 keyboard, quite like my mechanical keyboard. So, and I prefer typing on that to typing on the MacBook uh, keyboard itself, so that's great. I do have an Alexa device behind the monitor over here. 
that power that enables me to turn my main office lights on and off and my heating on and off without any issues um, or without having to move which is even more efficient so stream deck plus here powering all my lighting and my led strip lights and colors and stuff i've then got the LED, uh, the stream deck the 36 button one mainly powering ecam which is what i use to power my webinars and stuff and my live streams um, also powers all my shortcuts for Teams, Zoom, and anything else I can think of, which is great. I've then got my Rode Duo, uh, Rodecaster Duo. So this is a small one, don't need the big one, I only need a few channels for what I do. Absolute powerhouse, it gets all of my sound perfect every time, which is great, and gives me complete control over what I'm doing, which I really enjoy being able to do. Under there is the Black Magic. Uh, speed editor which makes editing these videos so much quicker and more efficient i can probably edit a 10 to 15 minute video in about 30 minutes using that whereas if i was using a normal keyboard and mouse i could be up to an hour so halves my time there which is great the monitors up here so i've got my 34 inch ultra wide lg monitor there and i've got a 26 uh, 27 inch uh, lg monitor there on the 27 inch, I use the LG display control software that comes with these monitors to split this into four sections. So on here, I've got Teams, which is the tool I use for communicating with my whole team at On Point Accounting. I've got my notes from Apple Notes, which is the note app I use because it works just so well across all of my devices and I can share notes with my colleagues at Client Engage that also use Apple devices. I've then got Notion, Notion's where I do all my social media planning and I've also got a hub in there for on-point accounting for our team, which is like our internal Wikipedia. Then I've normally got my podcast, uh, Apple Podcast open because that's the channel, uh, that's what I like to listen to when I'm working is I have a podcast on. So I'm trying to in absorb the latest news, take on board new insights and opinions whilst working. Uh, it's always nice to have some green plants in the space. So I have cactuses mainly in here, which you'll have seen in the video footage in the B-roll, um, because they last longer without me having to remember to water them. And then I go around and try and water them once a week or once every few weeks, but often I forget. So it's a lot better that I have something that's a bit more robust in here, but still gives a bit of greenness and calmness to the space. So over here, we've got my Sony, which is my main face to camera camera when I'm doing videos like this. So when I'm doing videos like this, I like to talk to this camera. This is my Sony CV-E10. Not the world's best camera, not the world's worst camera. It's an absolute brilliant camera for what I need it to do, which is ideal. Up above, I've mounted it so my DJI Pocket 3, which I'm talking to you right now on, can sit up here and it aims down. So I've got a downward space uh, facing camera for any power bank displays or anything I did like last week's video. I've got an Insta360 camera up here. This is one of the best webcams I've ever had. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, got, it's on a gimbal, it follows you around, it's got 4K footage, it's absolutely brilliant for the amount of webinars, live streams, and videos um, and Zoom sessions that I do in my roles. So it's great to have a good quality camera. And I always sit there going, I'm, and remember how lucky I am to have such a great camera when I'm sat doing a Zoom session with someone which is really pixelated and blurry because they're using a built-in laptop camera. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic camera up there gives me complete control of how I frame up my window, my screens and stuff as well. Um, and then on top of there, I've got a monitor bar as well, just to help take some of the light out of my face a bit and make it a bit less strainful, strenuous on my eyes. So under my main desk, I've got a treadmill. Why have I got that? Well, when I'm in the morning, I try and do some steps on my treadmill because in my job, if I was sat down, I wouldn't be getting very many steps in at all. I'm lucky sometimes if I get more than 3,000 steps in in a day when I'm in the office all day. So I have a treadmill so I can answer my emails, do Teams meetings and stuff whilst on the treadmill if I want to be. And that just helps me get a few more steps in every day, which is always a benefit for my health. So that's my office. It's not a big office. It's packed full of tech. I absolutely love my working space. You know, next to my iPad station, I have got a load of Lego and stuff which I enjoy building. Lego is kind of my switch off tool. I can just focus on building the project in front of me. It doesn't take me long, unfortunately, but 
it's a great little hobby that I enjoy doing a few times a year just to be able to relax and turn off from everything. And then I can display it and remind myself and enjoy, enjoy looking at those models going forwards, which is always good. But yeah, it's not a big space, but it's my space. I enjoy working in it. And the amount of people I speak to that are working at the end of a kitchen table in a spare room and they don't enjoy working in there and stuff. I feel very privileged to be able to have such a great office and to be able to enjoy it and kit it out in the way I do. Um, it's not cheap. I didn't do all of this overnight. This kit is stuff that I've built up over the last five or so years and I've gradually upgraded pieces of equipment and stuff and it's just getting better and better. Um, but as I said at the beginning, it's really important that you have a working environment that you enjoy working from because that em empowers you to enjoy your work even more. So why not have a think about your working space? What can you do to improve it? Even if it's just a plant, even if it's just a, hmm, that's a good point about the camera. I perhaps need a better web webcam for my we webinar so I look more professional. There's loads and loads of links to everything that I've got in this office space underneath this video. They are affiliate links, so I may get some commission for from Amazon or one of my affiliate partners for you clicking and buying things. But none of this part of the, none of this video has been sponsored. It's all done because all of this kit is what I use every day, and it's what I love using. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found it insightful. If you've got any questions about any of the kit, or you want me to do any deep dives into any of the kit, why not stick it in the comments, and then I can come back to you and I can create those videos for you. And to make sure you know when those videos are coming out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Hello, my name's Johan. This advanced is a lot more powerful than quick books online. Okay, so It's a good business, the owner just doesn't care. I'm not sure how much good content Liz is getting out of this. We are live. I've got Johan Gorry in the house. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Accountant, We Have Cool Friends. Johan and I actually met and came up with the idea of this podcast. 